Well, it's uh, just about 7 o'clock in the morning. And let me give you a date. It should be July 30th. But, uh, you know me and dates. Yeah, it is July 30th. <coughs> just had a nice ham sandwich. I enjoy my ham sandwiches with uh, cucumbers. And watched two episodes of... Uh, of Yowie Vlogs, uh, I'm doing a binge watch of, of that, uh, of the Yowie Vlogs until uh, I'm done with them and then I'll move on to It's Our Life, that's our, my basic path, basic, my basic path in the YouTube stroll is Yowie Vlogs, from there you go to It's Our Life, then to the Leroy's, from the Leroy's, excuse me, you go to uh, Our Family Nest. From Our Family Nest, I go to uh, Family Five Vlogs, and then from there I go to Clintus if he's posted something. I go by and I check. I check to see because he does a, a two day, two days a week typically. But there's always sometimes sometimes there's always something extra. So you just go by just in case he's posted something. Uh, I don't. I'm. I'm not a person. I, I have it in such a way that it's in my media room, so I, I don't necessarily necessarily care about the bell and being notified. It's I get to it when I get to it. Uh, but anyways, uh, um, this meal has been better than the last meal in terms of maintaining. Uh, in terms of keeping the food where it needs to be. Going from liquids to solids is a, a bit of a step, and it does take some time, and there is also still residual pain. I also have a neurological condition that affects the, the intestines. It, and, and ironically enough, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a type of condition that, well, al although it presents itself in the intestine, the originating pain, some of the, the, the nerve endings in terms of how it's, in, how it's activated and responds to is in the foot. Uh, and this is what I learned a while ago as I was doing some of the research into this, is that th there is a lot of nerve endings in the feet and as you use, ac not acupuncture, but acupressure, you can determine what type of pressure on what area of the foot affects what area of in the intestine even further up in, into the upper body and so I did get these uh, insoles that do acupressure and they worked a lot I have I'm now wearing socks actually because there's a there's a there's a temperature trigger uh, if the temperature is too low it triggers the intestine it triggers uh, spasms but at the same time, as the temperature is too high, it does the same thing. So it, it really is, a, and that's what it's been this weekend, it's been a balance of maintaining the right zone and finding where that zone is because it changes depending on the condition of the system. And the system is particularly my body this time. This is, this is part of the research. So it ended up being a pretty good thing because I was able to figure my way, my way along it. And I understand that now that, that there are, it's not that you just, oh, something works in terms of a food that, that helps your, your body out. And you just simply dump it down and that's it. It's how you have it, the rate you have it at. Um, all these different things matter. So it's the minute details in how you create your food, how you eat your food in terms of, you know, how fast, how slow. Uh, the size of bites, these things actually do matter. And so now it's, it's, more of a, it's more about balancing the chemistry, the organic chemistry, because, you know, yes, well, the Chinese and the ancients had, had food as their, uh, as their medicine, but you need to understand is that the, all food is, are forms of, of source organic chemicals needed by the body. Our body is an organic chemical factory. And how our body grows and how we react 
depends on the sources that are put in and at what ratio and at what time. Th these things are time sensitive to, as well. This is why it takes a while for the body to recover from a sickness or illness and, 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 and gives you, uh, uh, you know, opportunities to do so. So anyways, this is the beginning of, of, of the, the vlog for the 30th. And we're going to continue along with the uh, Yowie vlogs. Well, the attempt is to improve the uh, clips, the number of the, the, the filming, the quality of the cuts, and got the graphics in there. We're still working on the graphics, but uh, bit by bit. Things will come along. And so other thing is I try different techniques, I try different places. Uh, I realize that these last few vlogs uh, have been rather short, uh, that there wasn't enough content, so... Uh, and you have to vary the places up. You can't be in one place all the time, so uh, the different backgrounds matter in terms of the overall discussion, the, uh, the, the hanging out, the vlogging, if you will. Uh, so this is what this is. It's a shift in place. It's a, I haven't vlogged out here for a while. We'll see how the wind goes because there's a bit of a breeze. And this is what keeps the place. Uh, this is what keeps everything cool. Is that the, the breeze keeps uh, uh, the units cool, so I don't the air conditioning during during the day doesn't have to work as hard. Uh, and there is a, there is a bit of a breeze. I can feel it through my arms. And this has generally been nice. I did. After the long break uh, from uh, with the sick days, I'm now back watching, doing the YouTube stroll, and I finished up with the Yowie vlogs. I've uh, caught up with them. I'm just now catching up with uh, It's Our Life. From there, I'll go to Our Family Nest and do a catch up on there. We'll see if I make it to. Uh, we'll see if I make it to. I probably won't because given the time, I think it's about. Uh, uh, four, four thirty in the morning, between, somewhere in between there. I didn't check the time, to be exact, <laughs> to be tell you exactly what time it is. And it's um, July thirty first. The month is gone. The month of July is gone. It's been a nice month. I've had, I said, I had those the, the sick days. I had the problems with my. Uh, my neuromuscular disorder, and I fit, but I got everything fixed up. It worked out pretty well, and so now I'm back uh, at the YouTube blogs, uh, the, the my uh, YouTube stroll. And so the Yahweh has been uh, a variety of different things, and sort of just they, they vlog their general life, and they always have a message at the end, and. That's kind of where I got my thing from, is that uh, as they would discuss and say how, how different things went good or bad during the day, and they kind of put these examples in of good and bad and disciplining their children and sort of consequences and so on and so forth. And the thing is, it doesn't matter in many cases how you feel, whether you feel worth it or not. You keep going. Because a lot of times there, are, there is no other option but to keep going. And from my experience is that if you keep going, you persevere, then there's no real issue. And the thing is, is that, well, he and I are both Christian. The, the, type to, the type of Christianity that we have are totally and fundamentally different. <clears throat> he has his beard because he has been at some point in time, he's been a priest, he'd been an elder, done the message the way his missions the way his uh, son had done. Uh, Branson has, uh, has since come back from his mission and, and uh, is now considered to be Elder Tanner. Uh, the positions of elder and other th things like that are reserved for monastics. And what happens is that the, the, the LS, uh, LDS is a mishmash of a number of, uh, of Christian understandings. It's not specifically one whole thing. And what it is, it's basically a reconstruct after many years of, of, of collapse. 
LDS reconstructs the Christian experience, assuming that anything before 1800 had been lost. And for the most part, it had. It had been the, the Catholic experience did so much damage to the uh, Christian church in the West that the understanding of the East, uh, the ancient church, which is the Church of the East, was completely lost. It, 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 there was nothing left. And so they, they reconstructed based on their imagination. This is what LDS is, and this is what most uh, Protestant denominations, the, the, the American denomination, the Christian evangelical right is basic right the their right is basically a reconstruction of what they thought there was was there in the past but it's again it's their imagination it's not necessarily a real thing not very, not just not necessarily bad in terms of behavior but the thing is is that once you get further into the experiences it becomes an issue there's a garbage truck coming by Yeah. See where it goes. I just going to the back of the. Uh, there's a, a medical uh, warehouse that the uh, factory that makes things. So I think it's going in there because it looks like look, looks like a uh, an alternative waste thing, a waste uh, truck. So. Yeah, it didn't go back. See, the, the, where it went, it was there's also a route to the back of this building, and it didn't go there. So, <laughs> yeah. So what happens is that there is there are different. And the thing is, is that you 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 don't. It's, it's not a it's not a matter of simply opposing a person's view. You want to understand why the person has the view they have. How do they come to this particular view? And so you do have to listen. You have to listen with an open mind. And this part of observing people is doing that. It's part of you know, if you if you want to be a cyberneticist, you want to understand not only how people behave. You know, want to understand behavior. You have to not only know how they behave, but why they behave the way they behave. What is the mechanism? What what pushes them into the choices they make? And so this is part of the understanding, and this is what you get at the Yawi vlogs. But the thing is, once you understand that, then you can move off onto other vlogs and sort of match the same sort of set of criteria up and now you have an observational program and even though it's fun you're sitting back it's enjoyable it's like watching tv you got to study behavior so it's work as well <laughs> it's, it's, how, it's how a nerd has his fun you take something that's fun that should be relaxing and you make it into a, a form of studying a form of research Well, it's just about 6 o'clock in the morning on July 31st, and we're ending the vlog for the day. This little ending segment just finished up with at the at the Leroy's. Uh, I was three, vi three, vi three videos behind, uh, so I just now all caught up. I Prior to that, I was at uh, It's Our Life. They were doing a Q&A video. Their Q and A, the, the, it's our life. Their Q and A videos are pretty good. It, it's different than than any other uh, place I've been before on YouTube in terms of the community community uh, the, uh, the YouTube stroll. Uh, they're doing it different. They do it as they're doing things. They answer various different questions. They do the Q and A like that. So it's an interesting way of doing the Q and A. It's not simply sitting one spot and and doing the Q and A. It's uh, throughout their particular day. And so it makes it a lot more interesting than if it were just simply a, um, you know, sit in one spot, ask a question, answer the question, ask a question, answer the question. They're typically from Instagram, so. And then you have, uh, I said we have to be up here at uh, the Leroy's. And, uh, Trying to figure out what to do for school. All of the different districts have different policies as to, as to how they're going to handle school. They're, 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 what, how, how does this? How is this? And they use because the, everyone's still talking about the the disease for the year, and because YouTube is funny about that, 
let's use the uh, alternative term, uh, chronic gas. Uh, uh, I mean, of course, everyone doesn't, you know, most people don't like gas to begin with, you know. Uh, and so it's, it, you have the mask because it's kind of smelly and stuff like that. And but the thing is, is the way they have these things is now is that uh, the, the 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 policies are inconsistent with uh, with the, the necessities of gas and, and the realities of gas, and particularly if it's chronic chronic gas. Like that. So what this is, as I said, it's the it's the great fart great fart panic of 2020, and uh, it, within when you're talking about panic, you're not talking about any degree of lot of Logic is panic is more an emotional fear based than anything else. So, <laughs> and that so that was on the Leroy's. Uh, one of my favorite favorite pre people on there is actually Perry. She does things in a manner that that is as if the camera's not there at all. <laughs> she knows the camera's there, but the, 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 she, the way she says things, her her, her responses are so. <laughs> spontaneous where you see some of the others are more reserved on camera in terms of what they're saying so they're they're more cautious Perry really doesn't have that sort of censorship that prevents a person from saying things that maybe shouldn't be said <laughs> and it's not that she's mean or anything it just, it just, it just comes out in an unintentional manner, that this is how it com how it emerges, and it's quite comical. Oh, once again, here we go yawning again. But that's this is what what I enjoy. I do have some gaming left to do, and that's what we're going to do now. I have to readjust the cooling system. Shut, that means shutting the front door. Uh, and uh, I also have to check the laundry. I did another load of laundry today. I finish up with the gaming. And then come back and I'll finish up. I'll be moving over to uh, our family nest. 